Okay, so let's jump into my purse collection. And the first set I'm going to show you are my Speedy bags. So I collect the Speedy Classic, so they're not bandolier, they do not have straps. And the Speedy was actually my very first bag. I started collecting when I was 19, and I'm well beyond that in years now. And this was the bag that started it all off, right here. It is the Speedy 25, and it's been through a lot. You can see it's got stains on it. Uh, I used to let my son play with it when he was a baby. Um, this is also the bag that got my YouTube career started. I did a What's in My Bag featuring this guy, and um, it's wonderful. It holds a lot. It is uh, smaller in size, and I'll compare it to a 30 in just a second, but it does have, and I have a stuffing in there, it does have a great big opening, and you can put a lot in this baby. So it is a very good bag to have, especially if you're on the smaller size or you like to carry just a few things with you. Um, you would like the Speedy 25. And in comparing that, here is the Speedy 30, which I also have. And this is the 30 in monogram, so it will come up in a Monogram Monday video. Those are the videos I do every Monday now to feature and review a bag or a SLG in the monogram print. But anyway, um, love, love, love this bag. The Vachetta is a wonderful honey brown color. I love it. And um, the tabs here are really pretty um, smooth. They haven't been stained. I haven't let anybody play with this. And um, you open this up. Oh, and all my speedies, just by the way, I, I got pillows, official pillows for them. And they are from, oh, let me take this out and show you because they are really, really functional for storing your bags so they don't slump and do all kinds of funny things and they look good on the shelf. But these are from baseshaper.com. So these are official, they're shaped just like a Speedy 30 and they fit in the purse. But I just wanna show you inside here, it's huge. You can fit a ton in this baby and I do only carry it by the crook of my arm so I gotta make sure I'm not carrying too much because it can get very heavy. The bag itself is light, but when you load it up, it gets heavy, especially if you're carrying it on your arm like this or your wrist. Um, so the Speedy 30 in monogram I have. I also have it in Damir Aben, and this one features the red interior, as you can see over there beyond the pillow, and it is this beautiful brown checkerboard print, and it is wonderful. I think this was my first Damier uh, Ben print bag, and I love it. So it's wonderful all weather because the leather on here is treated, so you don't have to worry about rain or things like that, um, messing up the leather. Um, it's durable, it's lightweight, like I said, and it's great. So this is my other, my third Speedy. The fourth Speedy I think I got was this one, and it is the Damier Azure Speedy 30, and it looks like this all the way around. It's got this beautiful um, ivory and bluish gray uh, checkerboard print, and it is wonderful. I love to carry this in the spring and summer, especially when I need to carry a lot because it is huge. And inside, it has the tan lining, and I'll show you that on all the speedies, the, what do you call it, the date code is, let me take the pillow out so I can show you. Well, you won't be able to see it, but I'll show you where it is. If you're looking to buy a speedy, you need to know where the date code is. So inside is a D ring. On the opposite side is a pocket, one little slip pocket. And underneath the pocket, you'll see a tab and that's where the date code is stamped. So this bag, I mean, the, the Vachetta on here is so bright. I barely use it. I don't use it very much because I'm afraid of transfer, but um, it's a beautiful honey coating, honey color Vachetta outside here. It's, it's just in perfect condition um, and, I, and I love it. So it's a great bag, a great spring bag for me or spring summer bag for me, but you can use these all year long if you want to. My last Speedy is like my unicorn bag, and it is this one. It is the Watercolor Speedy 30 in white, 
It is very rare. It was only issued in uh, Japan and Hawaii in the size. Otherwise, if you wanted this bag, you had to get a Speedy 35, which was too big for me. I decided to get this one because, well, first of all, it's gorgeous. Um, I would love to have the brown one as well because that one is gorgeous too. And it's just the, the ivory background, the watercolor feel of the artistry, and also the, um, you know, the classic speedy shape and size that I'm used to. So it is beautiful. You'll see, I always carry this. Uh, bag charm on it because I feel it goes well with the coloring and it just adds to the beauty but this is what it looks like all the way around it's gorgeous I really do love this bag and um, I don't carry it a ton because I'm afraid of it, something happening to it um, but I do get it out in the spring and in the summer so this is the watercolor speedy 30 in white or blanc Okay, so those were my speedies. Another trifecta set that I have in the new pochette accessories bags. So I'll show you one by one at a time. This is the pochette accessories or accessoire bag in monogram. It is the new model. So all three of these are the new model. And um, these I actually use as purses. So I either have them with a short strap like this and use them just on my shoulder or there is a crossbody strap that's Viketa leather that I got from eBay that I use when I want to have it hands-free or crossbody in design. So D is just really quickly, um, the new model uh, made the bag a little bit bigger. It's also deeper, so it can stand up by itself if you, you know, stand it up where the other bag couldn't do that. Uh, another thing that's a great feature in this one is, well, first the strap is a little longer than the older model, but if you don't have, if you have small little shoulders and arms, that won't matter. But um, the other feature I really love about this is that it has a pocket inside now, and you can put, you know, your credit cards, your money, you can use this pocket as like a little wallet, or you can put your keys in there. And there's a lot of room left over for you to put your phone, your lip products, anything that you need to carry for a downsizing day when you don't need to carry a bunch of stuff around. But it does let you carry quite a bit. I mean, I can fit my little tiny umbrella in here, my phone, my little wallet, and uh, lip products, and a comb. Um, basic essentials, but, you know, things you can't leave home without. And um, this is a great bag. And so I have it in the monogram. And I have it in Damier Aben. And I just want to show you the interior for here because it's got that beautiful red lining, the pocket. And I always keep these, um, whatever cards or tags they give me from the store, I keep those in my products. So um, I got the SKU item and then the textile card. So that's in there. But look at how big the inside is. You can really carry a lot in there. And the strap is long enough. It's got a long enough drop that if you want to carry it over your shoulder, you can. And you've got enough room for a baggy sweater or, um, you know, a jacket. So it's really, I'm so glad they redesigned it and that I was able to get them. So, um, Damir Aben. And then also I have the Damir Azure. Uh, just to have the trifecta. But I do use these. Um, these are probably some of my most used bags, especially in the spring and summer, because I love to go to festivals and to the lakefront, and I don't like to carry big, huge bags when I do that. I also carry these a lot when I travel. So those were the pochette accessoire or the accessories bags. And next I will show you uh, just some random purses that I have. Okay, I've got three bags of bags down here, and I'm just going to start grabbing. They might not be in any, any particular order, um, but I'll go to this one next, I'm going vintage for a while. This is um, probably my third bag, and it is the petite bucket bag, and it looks like this, and it is truly just a big bucket. Um, 
pros and cons for this bag is um, the pro is the shape and the depth I like this because I can fit a lot in there you wouldn't think so by looking at it but it is actually pretty deep so you can um, get a lot in there the con is let me get my hand out of my face the con is the lining after time the lining got um, peely so if you're buying one of these on the secondary market or um, pre-loved make sure the lining is okay next bag is vintage as well and it is this bag it's called the Blois bag now if you've been following me for a while you know the story with this bag it's the only bag that I've sold and regretted um, so this is not my original Blois bag I repurchased it several years later because I regretted it so much and I just wanted it as my collection. Now this is not my favorite bag in the world because the opening, this is what really bothered me. The opening, the zipper is perfect, but the opening is very tight. It's kind of um, like getting, squeezing stuff in the Alma almost, but the Alma at least comes down, the zipper comes down more on the sides. So it's really a little bit difficult to get my stuff in and out, but if I'm not carrying a lot, it's okay. It has the flaps or the slits on the side for a pocket, which is great for your phone. And um, this, ins oh, there's a dust bag in there. The inside has a nice, you know, nice roominess. There's a pocket on the side and then the back is flat. So. Okay, the next bag in no particular order because this one is actually fairly new to my collection, whereas the other two were really vintage um, is this bag the Clapton bag and I bought it last year in San Diego and I saw it on the shelf it must have just came out that day and I was extremely attracted to it and I just bought it right away um, I had not seen many bags that had the Damir of Ben mixed with uh, the pink leather and I just thought that was, you know, remarkably beautiful. Plus, at the time, I was, you know, just frustrated because I couldn't get the Pochette Matisse like I wanted because it was sold out and the waiting list was so long. So I figured this was a great compromise. It was a nice small bag that had, you know, security on the top. You can, you know, fl the flap comes over the top so your stuff doesn't fall out. And um, the strap is pink and it was the right size. It's adjustable. And um, I figured it would be a great instead of bag and but then I fell in love with it quickly and it was something I wore like all spring I know Damier Ben I, I usually try to use in the fall and winter but this I used all spring and I loved it I love this bag it opens up into this gorgeous pink microfiber lining and um, it's got the two slit pockets here that are great for your phone or your business cards and it's got um, a smaller kind of thinner um, section right here, a bigger section in the front that can hold a lot, and a zipper compartment. And whenever the bags have these zipper um, pockets in the middle, I never use them. So, but it is um, great if you want extra security for your wallet or something that you're carrying around that you don't want just floating around too much. Um, this bag does hold more than it looks like. So I love the pink leather. The strap is really soft. But it's, you know, there's no cracking. The glazing is perfect. So if you can get your hands on this bag, it is adorable and it is um, wonderful. Okay, I've got to move this video along. It's getting really long and I still have two bags of bags to go. So really quickly, um, you've seen this before on my channel. This is the Sobe Clutch. It is uh, the black um, electric uh, epi leather and it features the, the big logo and silver hardware on the front this bag makes me so happy like when i go out in the evening for something you know very fancy the last time i took this bag out was for an opera and then i took it to um, brett and i went to see hamilton so this is like a, a nice dress up bag for me and it's a great clutch because it does hold a lot inside it's got a you know a zipper pocket right here which i use as the wallet and it's also got a lot of room on the side here, which I can carry my phone, um, makeup, every, a lot of things like that. And the silver hardware is great because I usually, um, well, I pretty much only wear silver jewelry. And it just makes it stand out more and makes it, you know, the whole thing come together and pop. So this is the Sobe Clutch and it's a wonderful bag. Okay, next I have the Montaigne BB. 
in Monogram. And it is a very special bag for me because um, I got this for me and Brett's 20th wedding anniversary. I was actually in Chicago with my friends and I knew it was like the day before or the, you know, it was right like that week of our anniversary. And he was like, go find yourself something fun when you get down there. So I was like, okay. And you know, I was going straight to Louis Vuitton. So, so I snapped this baby up again. I wanted my pochette Matisse, couldn't get one. So this was a nice alternative. And when I got it, I carried it forever. Now, if you know me, you know, I don't like what? I don't like when a bag has two strap options or two ways to carry it. So it does have a nice long strap, but it also has these guys. And what I do is I always keep them tucked inside. So um, if I'm carrying this bag on my shoulder and the straps are doing this, that would drive me nuts. I'm Something's wrong with me, but that's just the way it would, would happen. So um, I tuck the, the handles or handles instead of straps inside and I always carry it like this with the strap. Oh, and by the way, I always keep this, this bag charm on here because it's just so cute and it go, it just hangs really nicely from this bag and it looks so cute. Um, this thing, what do you call these? A claw shirt, something like that, that has the keys in there. I, I just put that in there too. I don't even have that dangling. Um, because it drives me crazy. Um, this bag is not the most secure bag in the world because it does stay open or you can push the clip together like this but there's still ways where your wallet or things can pop out so if you want extra security you need to use this zipper pocket in the middle which again I don't use but it's a nice size for a wallet Inside is a brown microfiber lining that's got two pockets over here and a bigger pocket over here, which I put my phone in. So this is the Montaigne BB and Monogram. It's got the Vachetta straps, straps right there for decoration and it's got feet on the bottom. So moving right along. Okay, the next bag I'd like to show you is my um, denim meaty meaty <laughs> denim mini pleaty by Louis Vuitton and it is in the fuchsia color and I love this bag it is um oh from that denim collection that came out back well a, a while ago I didn't get it then but I did get it pre-loved and um, I got it actually all the way from England because I was looking for one in pristine condition and this was it it is just this gorgeous fuchsia color and the bag is so soft and pliable. It's got the Vachetta long strap and this can be removed from this side and turned into a wristlet or used as a clutch. It's got the nice clasp right here that's easy to open. And inside, oh I got bag stuffing. It has a beautiful pink microfiber lining. Now this bag is so squishy and soft that it just it holds a ton because it's it's really flexible and I just love it. It is a great spring summer bag and um, I love it when I have I think I have a couple pair of shoes this color too so it just looks really cute. Um, yeah I do have a couple of pair of shoes that I wear uh, when I wear this bag and I just love it. So this is the denim meaty <laughs> I keep saying meaty pleaty. This is the denim mini pleaty in fuchsia. Okay, so continuing on with the pink bag theme is this one right here, and it is the Lexington Pochette. And I got this one, oh, oh, maybe six years ago. It is so darn cute. I use it as a purse, even though it's really tiny. Um, it is this per pink vernis leather, so you can see the embossing on there. And um, I love the way it catches the light and the embossing is just perfect on there. It's got the Vachetta strap, which isn't too deep. The drop isn't too, too long, so you know, you really are snuggling with this. But you can um, remove the strap and use it as a clutch, so you can remove this completely if you want. Uh, the inside is tiny. You can only fit a cell phone and a lip product in there, maybe um, a comb, and um, but it's got this pink leather lining inside uh, and um, no pockets. 
So it's really simple, but it looks really good when you want a great pop of color. Like if I was wearing mostly black, um, I like to wear this bag. Okay, and then another trio that I have is the Push Up Matisse bags, and these are my newest ones. I just bought these in Italy, and if you want, I can put up here a link to the video that I reveal all three of these. But I did buy these this past summer in Rome, and I have the Push Up. I finally got the pochette Matisse in monogram. So all these other bags that I was, you know, using to console myself, um, I've got them plus now. So here's the pochette Matisse, what I've been looking for. And it's, um, everybody has seen this, everybody has this almost. And it's a gorgeous, very functional bag. It's got a lot of vachetta on it. Um, so the top is, the tab is. And um, the little side tabs are as well. So mine are turning a nice little golden honey color because I use it a lot. And it's got a great strap. Unlike the Montaigne BB bag, this strap is adjustable and the shortest uh, link is perfect for my height because I'm five foot three. So this is a great bag. Um, let me show you inside really quickly. So this is what it looks like inside. I did a what's in my bag for it as well and I could have carried a lot more than I did. I'll link that video up here as well. And then it's got a, a slit pocket in the back here that you can, you know, put something like your receipts or paper, or something really thin that you need to carry, but it can go in there. And on the back, there's a zipper. So um, that's the Pochette Matisse in monogram. I also have it in black and pink. I think, is this pink called Rose Ballerine for this this model? I think it is Rose Ballerine. Um, and, and that's one of my favorite shades of pink, but for some reason now I'm doubting myself. So let me know if you are aware of what shade pink this is. I just call it the pink one. <laughs> but anyway, it's the same exact model, same exact design. It's just got um, made of Emprunt leather, which is their leather line that's embossed. So you can see the um, embossing, hopefully, that um, the logo and the monogram print is just embossed in the leather. And this leather is so thick and it feels so durable that um, it's, it's really going to be a great, great uh, thing to carry and not have to worry a lot about. It is also um, smelling really good, <laughs> but it's got the, the golden brass finish. I wish they would have had it in silver finish, especially for the black bag, um, but it's the same exact design. I still have the plastic on this one, haven't used it yet, and um, the strap I haven't even put on. It's still in the bag, but I wanted to show you the inside is the pink canvas uh, lining with the stripes and um, and the back here, and the slip pocket, is where it says where it's from. So this one is made in France. That's that pink one. And then I have the black one, which I have been using this past couple of weeks. It's been the bag, my go-to bag this last couple of weeks. It's gorgeous. It's the perfect... Um, in between matte and sheen, I guess it would be more matte, but it um, catches the light great, and you can really see that embossing now. Um, the lighting in here is a dark gray with the stripes, and this one was made in France as well. So it's just a gorgeous bag, and I like to carry um, my facets keychain on this as a bag charm. Now my last three bags is my third no, my second trifecta. No, my third trifecta. Because um, I have all three prints of the Neverfull. And you knew this one was coming because I'm a Neverfull girl. I love it. And it is probably one of my favorite bag designs. This is what it looks like. And this is the Neverfull MM size, which is perfect for my body size. Again, I'm five foot three and a whole lot of pounds. And um, I did get all of my never fulls with the rose ballerine lining. I was very fortunate enough to capture all of those when they came out. So um, the never fulls also now come with the pouch. So I have the pouch for this one. 
and the lining looks like you know it's got the interior is pink right here the big pocket looks like this oh let me get that out looks like this and I haven't been showing you where the date code is on all of these because quite frankly that would make the the video be really long but it's just simply right along the side here um, right there D ring is right there and quite frankly I never I always take these pouches out and I don't use those um, I would more use it as a clutch if if I had the opportunity and then it has the the little clasp that closed the bag up on top here so you can see your stuff is way out in the open <laughs> but if you have it underneath your shoulder and you I keep, sorry I keep putting my bag in front of my face but if you hold it under your shoulder and you hold it down really clear nobody's getting inside there either and if they do think so you can always cinch in the sides like if I'm going someplace where there's a lot of traffic I'll cinch in the sides and then hold it under my shoulder so that it's a little more secure so here's the monogram I also have the Damier Ben and this one looks really rich with the pink lining so here's the the lining the pocket the pocket is um you know pink on pink with the stripes in here it's like pink writing on pink background and then I also have the pouch for that inside which again I would use as a clutch separately and the date code is over here okay so my very last bag and the last bag of the Neverfull trifecta is the Azure Neverfull or Damier Azure and it looks like this Beautiful print, love it. It's another, for me, spring summer bag. Um, I have a tag, a luggage tag that I had embossed. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got a light pink B on there. And I always keep that attached to this bag because I think it just looks really nice. Um, the Vachetta really is a beautiful light honey color. And inside, it's also the Rose Ballerine. You know me, I love my pink. And um, it's got the pouch. And this was the last Neverfull I got. Um, I think this was um, released after the monogram and the Aben bags were because the date code is in a different place. It's underneath the pocket. Stuck really way up in the corner there. You won't see it, but a little piece is sticking out. Um, that's where the date code is on this one if you're tricked like I was trying to find it. Okay, so that was my bag collection. I hope you enjoyed it, especially if you're a Louis Vuitton lover like myself. I will keep you posted on any new purchases I make. And as always, my Louis Vuitton collection is in my Pinterest site. And I do post a lot of pictures of my bags and other accessories on Instagram. So follow me there. Both places are at Pink to Paris. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and also the notification bell so you never miss a video. I'll talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye bye.